Hey, I got some shit to say, man. Like, some shit that ain't been sitting well with me. Like, I've been seeing a, a lot of blogs and motherfuckers been hitting me up talking about Floyd talking about me again. Not once, but this, this has happened on multiple occasions. Like, this goes back to what I say. Real niggas don't do this type of shit, bruh. If you my so-called big bro, we all, when we together, when we together, side to side, we all big bro, little bro, I want to see you do this. I want to see you, see you, uh, um, surpass me. I want to see you do all this good shit. And then when you do an interview, you talk bad about me. Like, how real is that? Like, what type of nigga is you? I don't give a fuck what you did, nigga. If it was real or not, nigga, no, if it happened or not, nigga, anytime, anytime you, you was in them lawsuits, nigga, with your baby mama or, uh, and they say you hitting her with, with, with three pieces, like you fighting Kodo, I don't, I don't get into that, I don't, I don't, I don't say he should have did this or he should have that, you know what I say, fuck all that, my nigga ain't do that, fuck all that, my nigga ain't do that, my nigga worried, he counting some money somewhere, that's what, that's the type of shit I say, I don't say, Hey, uh, 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 Floyd hurting himself. Come on, bro. You was the same nigga. Like, what, what, five years ago, four, five years ago, burning money in the club. Come on, bro. You like 39. So you was 34 at the time. 34, 35 at the time, bro. You burning money in the club. But I ain't say nothing about that. I, shit. You know what? That was motivation to me. That, that was motivation that one day I was going to have enough money to where I didn't give a fuck to throw up some change in Walmart. I didn't think that would ruffle your feathers, my nigga. Come on, bro. Stop talking bad about me, bro. And, 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 what I'm, and what I don't get is I'm just little old Adrian Bronner, bro. A little street nigga from Cincinnati who made it. Four-time world champion in four different weight classes. But I have yet to make the type of money you have made, bro. We ain't in this, and, and we ain't in the same tax bracket. Why am I such a? I, I, I'm starting to feel like I'm a threat to you, big bro. Like I don't, I don't like that. Especially when you got my number. I just sent you a. I just, I. To be honest, I just sent you a. A real sincere text, that you ain't respond back to. But, I'm starting to feel like you saying fuck me, so. It gotta be fuck you. No homo, my nigga. Like, and that's what it is, bro. Cause that's how you treating it. When 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 you start doing 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 interviews and talking shit about me, come on, bro. And then at the end of the interview, you say, um, you don't care for me as a boxer because I'm not signed to you, but as a black man, you want me to see. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. That's some bullshit, bro. If you if you my nigga like you say you is, nigga, you on my side whether I'm doing wrong or doing right, nigga. And you ain't gonna do it through no social media. You gonna call me and let me know. Just like a nigga that I fuck with, like Jay Prince, nigga, he he gonna call me. Whether I'm wrong or right, and let me know what's up. Cause that's when niggas really fuck with you, bro. You tripping, bro. Like, and I ain't and I ain't got no ties with with with, with the big homie Jay, but real recognize real, bro. And, and, and that's what it is, bro. I just feel like, I just feel like you the type nigga. And I'm gonna I'm be the I'm gonna be the one to say it because ain't nobody around you gonna say it. But I just I'm I'm starting to feel like you a good, you a good hearted nigga, but you you and, and you might want to help somebody, but you will help somebody for them to do good enough. They might do great, but you don't want them to do better than you. That's just the type of nigga you is, bro. And and I'm starting to see that, bro. And this shit bring tears to my eyes to really hear. My idol, somebody I put on a pedestal, somebody that I, 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 I study every night before I go to sleep. I'm watching your tapes to hear them talk bad about me. Okay, alright. Watch me April 1st, nigga. I'm going to knock your fighter out. Bye.